Hello, Simran, and uh, welcome to Film Companion South. I was just, uh, you know, doing some basic uh, googling on you, and I discovered that you know the super hit Mukabla show was something that you uh, were first audi- you auditioned for, or you had a like a whole anchoring a duty on. Yes, uh, it started from Super Hit Mukabla, DD Metro. Uh, yeah. uh, that was in '94. um yes and uh they i got a call from them that those days we had those landlines you know and then uh, they said that you have to come and do audition for anchoring if you are interested for super hit mukabla and it was a very famous show during you know uh, of those days then i went there and then i started speaking you know song number 1 pehla gana dusra gana and then this is how uh, yeah it was uh, produced by nimbus uh, <laughs> i think they saw me somewhere on college stage drama or maybe dance somewhere and then okay so so when i remember that show one of the songs that used to come constantly was aankh mare you know that i just remember that there was a very very uh, or am i am i remembering wrong so but today when you google up aankh mare you get the simba ka remix version you get that uh, sara ali khan and uh, and ranveer singh version and suddenly i just recall that it's it's almost like like a 25 years kind of thing you know because that was 96 95 and then now we are here and when you look back on this does it feel that long what does it feel like yes it feels um, that you know um, in the blink of an eye the whole these uh, two decades and half <laughs> has passed away and uh, it has been a beautiful journey um, i have done some very good work and i'm uh, i thank god my parents and i'm very proud of myself and thank you so much to all my fans to appreciate my work which actually got me to do this power kadigal where we are going to talk about it yeah it's a huge responsibility from akmare till now and this is my first ott on netflix um, yeah <laughs> So when you started out, uh, I mean, in a very short span, you pretty much rose to the top. And you know, in in you know, Canada, you had Shivraj Kumar in Mamuti in Malayalam. You were doing Venkatesh, Balakrishna, uh, Nagarjuna films in Telugu, and of course in Tamil, you were doing films with Dajit, Vijay, you know, Prashant, uh, then Kamal, Rajni. You pretty much covered the gamut. Okay, Rajni is a relatively new new thing, but was there a strategy behind your initial? uh film selections or did these things just happen to you it was there was no strategy i just went uh, i wanted to work i wanted to work in good films with good people good directors it doesn't matter uh, whether he is a new director or or established one but the script really plays a good part and i always had in my heart that i want to do something you know which interests me and i used to listen to the subject and that's why i have uh, 95% of hit rate cinema Uh, in my career, uh, see when you when I listen to the uh, to uh, story, if it clicks me for the first time, it, it if it hits me, the narration really matters a lot, and uh, then yes, you are good to go. So it's it's like that. I had no strategy, but I was very very happy working down south. I think after Tere Mere Sapne, after Aank Mari. Uh, I continued doing movies in South, and then right. there was no looking back. You know, one of the nicest things I heard about you was uh, I spoke to some people, and one of the things that they said was, you know, when you look at Simran, uh, you look at the face, and it seems you know that it's not a South Indian face. She looks a little like a North Indian face, but whenever she did a South Indian film, you never felt. uh alienated like you do with other heroines who come from north india you always felt like she belonged because she spoke so she really pronounced the words well she really you know uh like she like you you never felt like she was she did not belong in the movie how much of a transition was that and how much effort did it take to kind of make that that transition convincing such a lovely question you have asked me i am uh, i think this is the first time i am coming across such a beautiful question in <laughs> so many years of my career uh, see it comes from heart you know uh, i just don't like to um, you know do something which uh, which i am not able to do uh, from my heart so uh, whenever a dialogue comes or whenever a song step comes well dance is my genre <laughs> and um, yes of course and i give my um, credit also give credit also to savita also who dubbed for me yeah. and uh, deepa venkat for many of my movies and still i don't dub for my movies uh, well i try but somehow that voice has 
you know registered in audiences mind and when i go to dub in uh, dubbing theaters also when directors they listen to my voice and they they're not able to relate it but yes i have to break this uh, taboo what i have in my head and um, yes uh, so uh, when it comes to speaking dialogues i write down my dialogues in uh, in hindi when they uh, give me the dialogues and then i mug them up properly i understand the meaning of course i know tamil inside out i can speak tamil also very well and um, and then i just go in front of camera and uh, i just understand what my director wants me to uh, how he wants me to emote this uh, emotion and this dialogue so i i just give my best i just give my be- best i i think this is the best career i always wanted to be in <laughs> you you know are you uh, one of those you know when they spoke of sri devi they said she was a switch on switch off kind of actress like she wouldn't prepare but she would go in front of the camera and then suddenly she'd be alive and once the camera was switched off she went back to her regular are you that kind of a person or do you extensively prepare for a role or how was how was your process i prepare for the role yes uh, during during those days when i was very busy from 96 till i think 2003 4 uh those days i never get time to prepare the role because i used to you know work 24 hours a day i used to say those days it, it is not 20 it seems like 25 hours for me so uh, but i used to uh, you know take care of the continuity uh, because from one film you switch to another one and then to another one then come back probably in the morning you shooting one film and the second one uh, in the evening shift so con- maintaining the continuity and continuously you have to uh, take the front seat you know um, assistant directors will come and tell you ma'am it was not red it was green uh, but i know i should know it that it was red or green and then you know uh, hairdresser will do some different hairstyle it was yesterday something different today something different so we have to constantly keep uh, uh, keep a, a proper check on which film uh, we are doing and what is the continuity of the scene so you know when we watch the film you won't come to know that seen a shot in 3 4 days it's like one yeah uh, you know it, it is continuously shot so so i i feel that um, you know uh, that this is all preparation i i feel that all the artists they do they have their own style of preparing themselves but for me is like taking that front seat and uh, you know telling people yeah this is how it has to be the hair the makeup the emotion no makeup this that so it it takes lot of work uh, acting is not easy at all so i asked gautam about this because he's directed your power kadegal episode and one of the things that he said was uh, you get into a character with minimum fuss that that's what really like like i said what is the one thing about simran that really strikes you and he said she gets into character with minimal amount of fuss so you have anything to say to that that is nice thing to hear about me i mean it means that i'm not fussy at all i don't <laughs> for uh, i mean i the you know tantrums and um, well i would like to say that uh, i think the kind of narration what he gives he just takes you under the skin of the character and which really interest my kind of artist a lot and i just want to give 100% right and you know to and keep up uh, with uh, you know with what my director wants me to do in this shot so so that i can connect to audience and plus when the role is challenging and when i shot with him for varnam airam also and uh, now paavu kadegal it is uh, there is something for me to perform you know something for me to give up give, give out to the audiences to uh, with the message yeah so he just explains to us and and i think that it goes with the flow also uh, you know the whole environment is created as such yeah. that uh, you feel like performing you just be yourself just be real to that character so i i, I feel thank you i just want to thank gautam for using this uh, beautiful compliment i i mean for giving me such a beautiful compliment and yes that just it's just that he is he is he is very clear in his thoughts that what he wants out of this shot which makes it easy for me to emote when i go in front of camera now this is again uh, would you say this is your most challenging role yes it is one of i um, like wali like kanatil and koel patti veer lakshmi and varnamayiram and now this 
Okay. So when you, uh, you just mentioned Bali, uh, that's one of your first most challenging roles that you had. You're torn between this brother and this other brother, both played by Ajit. When did you feel that, and that was fairly early in your career. When did you feel that, listen, I got this character? Was it during the narration itself, were you able to see yourself with that character? Or, you know, does it take two or three scenes in front of the camera before you say, okay, now I got this girl? Exactly. You, you said it. It's during the narration, you feel that you are into this character and you just get more curious and because the story is so engaging. Right. You know, uh, the movie is uh, always decided on the table of narration. Okay. One thing that you've always had, even early on characters, unlike many other uh, heroines post the 80s, you've had really, really strong parallel roles to the heroes. You know, it's like uh, whether you look at, uh, you know, Tulladha Manamun Tullum, Priya Manavale, that movie with uh, Prashant, uh, Parthen Rasiten, you know, you've had really, really strong uh, parallel. You were not just there to sing and dance. Of course, you've done your share of smaller roles as well, but a lot of roles that you got really, really made use of. Uh, yeah. think, you, back, performance oriented. Performance mm. oriented. What do you think you, did you set out and say, listen, I want, did you tell your manager I'm looking for such roles? <laughs> See, you, you, uh, you know, they used to come and narrate me the story and the narration is good. Then I am in. Okay. And you see most of the names, what you just took, they all are directed by new directors. Right, like right. I was new in Bali and, uh, uh, you know, so, yeah. So, would you say the same thing with the Kanatil Muthamital as well? You had a senior director like Mani Ratnam. He's like, you know, he's directed so many. Um, Kanatil Muthamital is uh, Mani Ratnam. He's a school of uh, filmmaking. He's, he's like a principal. There is, you go to an institute. So, there is no way that, you know, you will say, uh, I want narration. No, he will call each and every character, even the smallest one, to give a proper narration. Okay. So, that is, that, that is the power of narration, which he understands. I feel that which, you know, that is the first step, how you want an, your artist to perform in the film. It starts, this is the narration, this is the short wise narration, this is how I want. This is how a director has to be clear. And if director is clear, then why not the captain of the ship itself? Then the movie show short hit. So when you have the uh, uh, a character like Pava Kadegal come to you, or any other character, have you ever felt at any point, oh my god, this might be a little controversial, should I do this? Or have you ever hesitated before accepting a role? Not necessarily this one, but any other also? Roles, what I have done so far in my career, uh, apart from a uh, few which actually I should have done, it happens to all the artists. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, which are uh, roles, what I have done, which have really become popular and known in the audiences. I have not uh, thought taken about them that, you know, when I, when I hear it, when I hear the story, when I find myself in that story, that moment I decide that I just won't do it. Even though if it is challenging, yes, I don't want to go out and hurt people's feelings that those roles I haven't done, but uh, like Power Kadagal, it is uh, something which has a lot of strong message. And, and I feel that it's a high time for artists like us, like I, I've, I've been in the cinema for more than 25 years now, almost. And, uh, you know, to go out there and tell them that, you know, just this is what I feel. This is what through my acting I could help uh, of, uh, you know, being a, a good human to a society. Yeah, so uh, roles are challenging, but I, I feel that we all must participate. Now is the time and we have platform also to showcase. Right, right. I was going to come to the platform. You just, uh, you know, earlier it used to be that the heroes would never age in the sense that they would go on acting as the leading man, but the heroine would have like, I don't know, a six, seven year, eight years kind of thing. And then they would go off and do other kinds of roles. But now when with, with the arrival of platforms, do you think that the lifespan of the heroine has the potential to become like bigger in the sense of getting, you know, consistently good roles? See, you know what I feel, uh, hero and heroine, these two, uh, like male and female, I would say. See, male has their own role and part to play, uh, you know, in the journey of uh, being human. And female has her own and she is actually restricted when she is married and she has responsibility. No matter how big actor you become or, you know, how many movies you're surrounded with, you will never give preference to work. It, that, is, that is true. And I feel that everyone and all the males know that. 
you know, the producers also male and, and directors also male. He understands. So, so I feel that ODT uh, platform we have, but it is, yes, it is open for different kinds of role. I know that I just can't do the same role what I did in Wali for 25 years. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, male can do because I have accepted another journey in my life. So what I feel is um, now we have uh, so many roles to perform, you know. Um, so we have options. We have OTT. And yes, um, to work on your own term so that, uh, you know, you give time to your house also, uh, personal life, and um, you can work also. So it's all about choice. Right. So when Gautam came to you with Varana Mayram, was that, was that just like a, okay, this is a good role, so let me do it? Or were you kind of looking for a comeback at that point? I was looking to work with uh, some solid director in some solid script because uh, I had given a gap right. in between and I had gone into television also from 2004 till 8 yeah. or 7 when uh, Gautam had come and narrated me the whole script. So that's his style, you know, he narrates the whole script. He will never narrate you just one, that this is your character. And actually, I don't like that kind of narration also, just character. You tell me the story now. I belong to the film, film belongs to me. It's, it becomes my baby otherwise. So when he narrated me the whole story and then he said, Simran, this is you. And I said, this is fantastic. I would love to be part of it. And, you know, he doesn't have that, oh, she has worked in television where, and she's, or she's a mother and how she performs. She just, he just, he just, he'll just tell you, this is the story. What do you think about it? And I said, this is fantastic. I am in, and I am going to take time out because see, when you go out there work, it has to be worth also. You know, you're just leaving your whole family and, you know, kids behind and you're going to work something. It has to be another feather in your hat. Varnam Ayram is that and it really fetched me uh, good recognition and uh, it was a beautiful role again and we had a lovely song in it also. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So then you just said, you let me just, if the project is really worth it, then you decide uh, uh, kind of, it's not just the desire to keep working. No, no. Okay. One thing that, that, that set you apart when you were doing your roles is that you played a mother in Kanatil Mutamital. Uh, and then when you came back, doing the comeback, you kind of uh, played a grandmother in uh, Varna Mayram. Did you ever, you know, so you, you don't really care about image and how I will be typecast and you know, my, you know, that that kind of uh, thing never bothered you? Never bothered me because, uh, see, uh, the, I build my own image. Right. Okay, if I let people build my image, then what is the worth of me being, being being acting and, you know, choosing this profession? I chose this profession because I want to lead it. Right. And I chose this profession because I love it. And I love to act. I love to dance. You yeah. know? And I love movies. And uh, see, I, I have done Bharti and Rasitin also where it, was, it is a negative role. You know, and Wali uh, to handle such um, huge film, you know, and um, then Tullad Manum Tulum, then dancing songs like Totu Totu Pesam Sultane. And Al Tota Bhupati. Al Tota Bhupati. You know, and then going back to Priya Manvile, and then coming back to Kanatil Muttamital with three kids. <laughs> you know, and that I was just 24 years old. And then in Varna Mayram, where I was, I think, 32 or, yeah, so... You know, playing a grandmother where actually, you know, I, um, uh, if I would look at just looking at Simran for dancing and looks and all, then I would have actually dragged my career. I can still, but I want to be versatile. Right. You know, I wanted that impact. You know, are you Simran Patingla on the Paratil Patingla? So it's, it's like, you know, it's nice. It's challenging. Yeah, yeah. I, it keeps me going. It keeps me going back to the gym and, you know, be more <laughs> <laughs> You know, what to say more. <laughs> but, you know, one of the things that you just said, which was uh, the dancing, it really comes through because when you're on screen dancing, it's like you're really enjoying yourself. And I'm, and I'm talking about that, that there's a bit in Pitamagan where you're the actress and you just dance for this medley. 
that's an amazing stretch you know where you just like it's almost like wow i'm just so enjoying this you feel that when bala called you for that you just said yes straight away it's just like wow i don't i don't need a character i just want to dance bala yeah i just want to dance and of course surya vikram yeah. you know the whole package was beautiful and i love the role before that song you know that that hindi actress yeah. got into that whole gang thing and it, and they ask her to dance and you know what we shot for 3 4 days and then he 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 scraped the whole song and then he called me back and you know it, that is the only song which i have shot i think for more than 10 to 12 12 days wow so yes first shoot for few days and then um, uh, reshoot it again so i think bala has his own style yeah his films are also very nice right Full right of Yes. Now you're acting with Madhavan in his rocketry. Uh, you're paired opposite him. When you get back together with stars that that you were earlier paired with, is there a like a sense of continuity, familiarity, or sometimes you lose touch with them and then you know it's like it's like meeting an old friend again? Uh, with Madhavan, it's never been like this. I I always keep on meeting him in between, and you know we always exchange messages also. so when he came up with me uh, came up to me for this uh, rocket trees role he just said are baba just send me your pictures na uh, on whatsapp mai um, normal picture hi bhej to normal picture bheja maine you know jaise bed ke selfie le rahe hain kidhar kone se yeah this is the look this is the character you have to come and meet me after the i said okay and you know what i went to meet him in sari because i knew that he wants to narrate me something which is going to be indian <laughs> And then uh, I I went and I met him and then he narrated me the story and said Simran you are you are only doing that I said yes I have to and I am going to be the part of your directorial debut and then we shot the whole movie he is also very uh, prompt uh, very clear uh, and um, uh, you know he's he's like a proper he knows how to take lead he his eyes are all over he knows what's happening in that corner even though he's taking this shot and. Uh, he's he's also too good and i'm really eagerly waiting for that movie also to come out soon and now i feel that theaters are open so probably 2021 really looks very bright when you look back at your other two stars which is uh you know uh, ajit and vijay when you were acting with them they were kind of up and coming and in the sense that they were they were established but they're up and coming and when you see them today which is like where they are is there like wow you know i knew them then and then you know they are they are like this today this, do you feel that like there's a disconnect between the the people that you knew then and they are today yes um i see the connection is there and uh, you know um they have really worked very hard for where they are today it is not easy to be where they are today and to maintain that kind of aura you know on screen and then to work for it off screen it is not easy it is uh, uh, you know um, me and uh, vijay we started together in once more so once more and vip was a simultaneous release i think that was in 4 4 july it released i remember that was a american so that's how i remember <laughs> and uh, and me and ajit we worked we worked together in bali first and then later on in other movies so today they are really doing well for themselves and they are the heart throbs of tamil cinema and uh, yeah so i'm happy for them what did you mean uh, it takes hard work off screen as well what do you mean by that to maintain that image okay it's not it you just can't it's very difficult to be just yourself okay that's what i feel you know it uh, like for me uh, people want wanted me to see wanted to see me fit when i did that jackpot i was like this you know i had just given birth Not like, like that There's yeah been. i was <laughs> go and check the book <laughs> and then um, my uh, second one was just 3 uh, 4 months old when they offered me and then i said if people can see me slim and thin they have to watch me like this also let me see i am an artist i let me just so when i go out there and then when i went when i went short and when i shot my when i saw myself on editing table i said oh my god what a goof what have i done to simran you know i don't maintain i have to keep my personal feelings apart from whatever I, it is there on screen it has to be there what how people want to see me and then i just started working out and i went back and i think 
a second season itself, you can see the drastic weight loss in me, and then third season, it was more and then fourth. So you just can't take your uh, on-screen image for granted. That's what I meant by saying that off-screen, you have to work mentally that how you need to, you know, um, like your personal life is different than your profession. So you work for your profession also, you know, uh, during the night to get ready for the presentation in the morning. So that is what I meant. So what's next for you, Simran? After See, Power Kadegal. After Power Kadegal is um, rocketry is what I'm waiting for right now. Uh, there is one more movie where I've signed, but I don't know whether I should talk about this. In okay. this interview. Yeah, I've, I'm, uh, I've signed with um, Andadun uh, Tamil. Okay, all right. So uh, I am looking for uh, that film to start in January. I, Frederick is directing it, who did um, uh, Purnmagal Vandana. Yeah. And of course, I uh, Prashant is there in the movie and I'm really looking forward to work with him again. And uh, yes, yeah. that is the next one. So uh, all the best and I hope to see more of you in the future. I mean, I'm sorry, I, I kept the conversation mainly to Tamil films because we were talking about Power Kadegal. And so I just kept it to Tamil. Whereas actually we can talk about your Telugu films as well. We could talk about Kali Sundamra. We could talk about so many films, right? It's like, a, uh, you know, you have this whole uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, across the South. So, yeah. So It was really nice talking to you. Yeah, Very nice. interesting. Really, really nice talking to you too. All the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.